All right, so today we have a Schecter C1 SLS Elite. Uh, so this is a made in Korea um, Schecter uh, with some really nice specs on it. Um, you know, this is a twelve or thirteen hundred dollar guitar. Um, you've got a swamp ash body with uh, a neck through body construction. Um, it's got a maple top on it. Um, there's not a lot of detail as to whether it's just a maple veneer or whether it's a, a maple cap with a veneer on top. Given the, the, the nice flaming on this, I'm assuming there's a veneer of some sort. I doubt that they have a full cap with this, you know, um, flaming at, at this price point. Um, the neck is maple with um, some other woods mixed in and, and, I, and I think there's some carbon uh, reinforcement in this because the neck is is pretty thin. Um, you've got locking tuners. Um, interesting enough, the 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 wood that longs that runs along the neck, um, the grain is is kind of raised up, so you can feel it with your thumb as you as you run it along. Um, which I found a little strange at first. I'm used to having just a, a neck with a with a consistent feel across it, but as you run your thumb, you start to feel those kind of three woods that are reinforcing it along there. Um, you got an ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets, uh, compound radius, I think it goes 12 to 16. Um, you've got Fishman Fluence pickups um, with a three-way switch uh, and a battery in the back for the, because they are active pickups. Um, standard volume and tone, and you've got push-pull, and the, the push-pull on the volume controls the neck pickup and switches it from uh, the modern setting, which is in. You pull it out, you get more of a traditional humbucker sound. And same thing with the bridge. Pull it out, you get the more traditional, and you push it in, you're getting kind of a thicker full and more of a modern high output tone. Um, overall, I mean, a very nice guitar. Like I said, a lot of nice features. Um, this one is a few years old. Um, there is a good amount of fret sprout happening on, on this guitar, even with the binding. Um, I don't know if it came like that or if that's just something as, you know, as, as the wood is contracted a little bit um, over time, whether it's done that. So let's, um, let's hear how it sounds. So let's check out some clean tones. Um, I'm going to start with the um, pickup set, kind of in the traditional setting. So the push pulls are pulled out. Um, I got my clean tone, even though these pickups are hot enough, they're pushing my clean tone into a little bit of breakup, but I think it's uh, close enough to kind of check out the guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
for clean tones um, on the neck, I definitely like kind of the more traditional setting. I think you get a better kind of definition. <laughs> Especially with chords and a kind of a little more airiness to it. Um, let's check out kind of a rhythm tone. Um, switch to that. So um, we'll check it out on the bridge, but in the uh, kind of the more traditional setting. <laughs> Flexibility to it with, with the kind of pickup settings. 
Um, uh, this is really nice. The neck, like I said, is is pretty thin. So if you're looking for a chunky neck, this is not the guitar for you. Um, it's real thin. Access to the upper frets is really nice. Um, you can get all the way up here without really without your hand hitting the body at all. Um, it has a nice balance to it. Um, I mean, the, the finish is, is really beautiful. Um, and the, you know, the Swamp Ash has a nice grain, even on the back. Um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a really nice guitar. Um, and it's, uh, I think it competes well for the price. Anyway, hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.